Hello, this is Randy Hall with news from the year 3045, brought to you by Tachyon Technology, faster than the speed of light. And our sponsor is Cosmos Harmony. Remember, you can find your true love in the galaxy with Cosmos Harmony. Welcome, Cybernauts, to a wonderful world of the future. Uh, first, we'll have our UFO, UFO news. If you're looking for UFOs on YouTube, here's some things to check out. Check out Captured UFO, Russian Helicopter Transporting UFO. Just type that in and you'll find it. Uh, also check out Real UFO Lands on the Ground in Canada. You can just type that in to YouTube and check it out. And you'll find an interesting UFO there as well. Oh, by the way, that one about the helicopter is really nice looking. It just makes you wonder what were they thinking. Um, got two in Spanish. Two of them in Spanish. Um, if you speak Spanish, you'll enjoy them even more. But the, the pictures in the video are really good. One of them is UFO landing on Mexico. UFO landing on Mexico, you can find on YouTube by just searching that. And an impressive UFO on live BBC. That's impressive UFO on live BBC. I thought that was very good. But that's also in Spanish. Um, the, the video is very, very good. Uh, as far as predictions are concerned, uh, I'm going to make a very long range prediction for Brazil right before Easter they have 47 days of carnival that means people outside people doing things outside that they have the opportunity to see something in the sky and some of them will have video cameras so there's a chance someone will videotape something and that's the key to finding UFOs is having a lot of people outside during a holiday so there's a chance they'll see something but again, Brazil will have 47 days of carnival right before Easter, which is a great opportunity. Look at January 26, that's 126 2012 in Australia. May happen the night before. Take a look at Australia, which celebrates Australia Day on and around the 26th. There's going to be a lot of people outside then too, so there's a chance that someone might videotape someone. So take a look at that time. Um, also, there's a lot of holidays in January in some countries, which gives an opportunity for people to videotape stuff and see things in the sky. That includes the Republic of uh, Georgia, that's over close to Russia, and Serbia. Those are, they have a lot of holidays in January. Also, the Dominican Republic. Also, for January, Bosnia and Herzegovina. The Herzegovina. Uh, they have a lot of holidays in January. So there's a great opportunity to see something because, during that month of January because a lot of people are simply out celebrating. And that's, that's a good thing. Um, uh, it just gives an opportunity for people to see stuff in the sky and a lot of people have video cameras so there's a chance in those areas someone will videotape something. Uh, as far as the future, I'm going to do things a little different. As far as the future is concerned, there's an old saying that you should count your blessings. In the struggle to achieve more, it's easy to become blind to what you have, what you have uh, already achieved. Take time to count your blessings, uh, your past successes, and how f that you have and how you have grown. Then find ways to add to that. And I have, I just had a personal tragedy to myself. A local newspaper here in Shelby, where I live, called the Shelby Star, pretty much told me that a story about my UFO research and how I put videos on YouTube was not um, a hometown Shelby story that they'd be interested in. That they wouldn't be interested, that the public wouldn't be interested in my story in their newspaper. And I, you know, it's easy when you have um, things like that happen to get angry and upset, and you you just can't dwell on that uh, when when uh, things go wrong. Uh, you just have to keep moving forward and try to get over it. And and uh, 
it really bothered me for a while but that my my key to getting over it was to do more videos because I really enjoyed doing them and I believe it, it helps me relate to my the world around me and that it's sort of like an art form for me and that I project my view of reality not someone else's but mine and I share it with the public and if you like it good if you don't well that's fine but but you know it's 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 it gives me a key to be creative uh, now for news from the 31st century. Space scientists are celebrating May Jemison Day. That's M-A-E, May Jemison, J-E-M-I-S-O-N Day. She was the first black woman into space. She started projects during the early 21st century that extended woman and man's reach into space, including the 100-year project for deep space exploration. She was a wonderful woman. In other news, new, new Western Mining Company has bought $1 billion of centrifuges from Atlas Industrial Technology Incorporated. The centrifuges will be used to separate materials on asteroids. Uh, new Western mines everything from plutonium to water on asteroids. And the water is very important. Precious metals are important, but the water is important because it can be broken down into its components and like uh, hydrogen. You can get hydrogen from water that can be used for energy to propel spaceships. Or it can be used for water that can be used on colonies and, and, and for the people who work on the mines so that they can live and exist, exist there. Water is very important to existence of the human race and the human species. So it's, 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 it's a very important mining project. Another news Solar Incorporated will expand its solar flare grid to 150,000 solar, solar flare energy absorbers this year. The absorbers that uh, rest between the Earth and the Sun absorb energy from solar flares and transport the energy by lasers to Earth. And what's more important than that is they work as a barrier between the Sun and the Earth and slows down the heating of the climate and allows the heating of the climate to be regulated. So that's very important technology. Great 31st century technology. Well, that's enough of that. Um, I want to tell you briefly about my book. It's called The Ballad of Dred Scott. It's a story of a man, a slave, who was chosen to be the champion of the universe before the Civil War to bring about an end to slavery in America, the unnatural state of slavery. Through his fight for freedom, he causes a chain reaction that helps end slavery in America. It's a great book. It's an alternate history, an alternate fiction book. If you like to read, check it out. You can get it on Kindle, Amazon Kindle. They have hard copies and digital copies. Uh, remember to work for your dream, to turn your dream into reality. Just sitting on your butt and dreaming and thinking about things you want to do just doesn't work. You have to do the work. You have to sweat. So remember to, to put some effort into making your dreams real. Uh, there's a woman that said that anyone fights for the future lives of today, so fight for your future. Remember to fight for your future to turn it into reality. Uh, and work to turn your future into reality. Uh, leave you with a blessing. May you always have the freedom to choose the path of reason, and when reason isn't present, may you have the wisdom to know it. And remember that sometimes, even when you lose, you can still win if you don't give up your dream. So don't give up your dream. And remember what the Dormouse said in Alice in Wonderland. Feed your head. Read a book. Read a science journal. Um, improve your understanding of the world. Well, have a good day. And may you be blessed and may the universe bless you. Good day.